in the normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. We've got this box full of iron. We'll see if the old payloader has what she takes. All the back ends off. Holy. It's killing them. <laughs> Tell them we lifted the dot on there with a 4020. I don't know what your problem is. He's gonna try from this side. This side's got a little more junk in it than the other, so it might be a little easier to to deal with, but I don't know. It's heavy. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not off of it though. Another day has gone by since our hauling that three ton truck there yesterday. Dad has his cat home. He had a bit of a breakdown. Rob's got his Ford here because he started a new job so he needs a truck to be able to go work there. So we're doing the caliper on the back exploded. So he had a used one and some new parts so he's going to make one out of five of them. Trying to thaw the cat out here right now. But what happened is, if I can get some light, see how that's hanging down and then that side isn't? That broke. They had a big plate and the plate broke through and that's what holds your uh, track over. So, That'll be tomorrow's project for dad when he figures out exactly how he's gonna do it. But for now, we'll see if old Space Pants here gets his brakes figured out. I just gotta bleed them. Oh, and then you're done. Yep. Mint. Yeah. Oh boy. Pretty good at blowing those little holes. How many cycles of glow plugs in the heated shop? This is two. <laughs> Three, four. Ah! Wow. That is impressive. All right, I need both hands again. <laughs>
come out, come around and just, yeah, and just kind of trying to keep, keep, keep a, just keep below the puddle. Or you can start from underneath and make a puddle and then work up on the puddle. <laughs> That's even harder. This time it's a new rod, so you don't have to break the end off. There's, a, there's no uh, seal or whatever on it. Oh, is that it? Oh, that is weird. It's long. Oh, you're a long ways away. Oh, uh oh. Break it. <laughs> well, a couple days have gone by, haven't really been making much for clips because I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> anyway, Dad's got the cat all welded back together again so it's ready to get booted out but it's like minus 50 with the wind chill out there this morning so i think it's going to just hang out in here for right now uh i just uh, well dad had quite a chunk of this taken apart but i just took the uh toolbox and whatever you want to call it that their little toolbox off of it part of the platform uh so that we could get to the uh brakes here because I'm going to have to undo two of these lines because we're going to split it right here so I have to undo that and undo those clamps I don't know yeah I think well it's easier to undo it from here and leave the lines behind so get that undone uh, lift those batteries out of there and then we'll have to take the uh, shields and everything off of this side get all these off over here and then uh, same thing I'll have to get the little tray and part of the platform off off of this side it's held on a bit different than the other side a little he bit heavier since that's where the batteries go but other than that it shouldn't take too much so get these uh, zing zanged off of there and bring it back in a few all right Got all our hydraulic oil drained and most of the stuff undone. Now we've got to take cover off here because there's two bolts in there that go the other direction according to the book when Dad and I looked. One there and then down here was one that went the opposite direction as well. So see what we can see inside of here. We can get it open. I sealed it down, didn't I? You did, yeah. Found it. It's going. Oof. Might have to go to that side. There we go. Big empty box. What's that? A big smelly box? Yeah. Better than an itchy box. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's our two bolts that go the other direction there, so. Look at that, eh? You ever seen that before? <laughs> Duffy dog, Duffy, Duffy dog.
Well, there it goes. Nick, you're supposed to wait. <laughs> Look at it. Would you just look at it? What are you looking at, Amanda? Do you know what know. that is? <laughs> it's your PTO clutch. And your PTO shaft and your output shaft. Okay, PTO is down here. Or no. You got oil Where is it? Can any of you? What's left in here? Yeah, that's your that PTO, is a PTO and that's its clutch pack. And this is your output shaft. Your what? The put out shaft. The in and out shaft. No. What do you think, Amanda? Does it look like it? This is one piece, isn't it? The book says there's a spacer there somewhere, but. <laughs> well, we got the spacer out of here. We had to heat it up and Dad made a puller to get it out. And then the seal sits back in here. Um, <clears throat> only problem is... They gave us the wrong seal. Not really, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, but <laughs> uh, they gave us the seal for the outer shaft instead of the uh, inner shaft here. So the one we have is too big. The other one will be here tomorrow, and so will uh, all of the gaskets we need for on there, the PTO, and then the top of the transmission cover here. So, oh well. Not the end of the world, so Dad's just putting the starter back together. It uh, didn't want to engage anymore. We thought maybe it got oil in it when the seal went out of it, but putting it, it back together and still taking it apart. Was full of rust, and now uh, he's got to take it apart more so because the brushes don't want to allow it the uh, allow it to put the rotor back into it. So, oh well. Anyway. See if we can get demonetized by the radio. I guess. I think that's where we're going to leave you for this video. Anyway, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe for more. We get the parts, we can get her back together that way. So, I suppose, thanks for watching and talk to all you in the next one. <laughs>